Good afternoon, Tony. Good afternoon, WWE fan. Your mission, if you choose to accept it, is to review Mission Impossible Rogue Nation for your channel. Or else, the world could possibly end. Do you, 22 Tiger Dude, accept this mission? I accept. Excellent. Oh, and by the way, this phone call will self-destruct in five seconds. Good luck, fool. Wait, what? Oh, shit! Ah, damn it! And I just bought that phone! Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here to review Mission Impossible 5 Rogue Nation. So, Mission Impossible 5 is from writer and director Christopher McQuarrie, the same guy that wrote and directed Jack Reacher, a very underrated movie. I think it's an awesome movie, as well as writing stuff like Edge of Tomorrow, Valkyrie, and Jack the Giant Slayer. Mission Impossible 5 Rogue Nation is obviously the fifth installment in the Mission Impossible franchise. So Mission Impossible Rogue Nation is about Ethan Hunt and the team on the run when a group of these evil organizations known as the Rogue Nation are committed to go out there and destroy the IMF. So of course going into Mission Impossible Rogue Nation I was very excited to see this movie because you know I think the Mission Impossible franchise as a whole it is really fun well Mission Impossible 2 uh, not really that but the other films I've actually think are a lot of fun so now that I've seen Mission Impossible 5 what did I think Wow 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 this movie is awesome Mission Impossible 5 is one of the best movies to come out in the summertime as well as one of the best to come out this year. It is an awesome, fun ride. It is clever, it is really action packed, and it just delivers on what this franchise is all about. This is a movie that not only are you just so riveted and fascinated by the incredible stunts and the action sequences, but it's a very clever movie because it has such a very well written storyline. Now first of all, Tom Cruise. This guy is fucking nuts. Holy shit! The guy was on an airplane! He was on a fucking airplane! Do I need to say more? Holy shit, Tom! You are so crazy, but... Oh, man, I respect you for that, but... Wow! How do you do it, Tom Cruise? How do you fucking do it? And then there's these other great action pieces, like there's a motorcycle chase scene that was so riveting and uses these POV shots that I really appreciated. This is the definition of what an action movie should be and Mission Impossible 5 is really successful when it comes to the action pieces. Every single action in this movie is so incredibly well executed. I was so impressed throughout. I was never bored. You know, even when the movie had its down times, I was still never bored because even when it was slowing down, when you were breathing from the action, I was still riveted by the storyline. When you can have me riveted by both the action sequences and the overall storytelling, that's when you know a movie is doing a really great job. Jeremy Renner, I thought he did a very great job in the movie. I'm so glad he came back. Simon Pegg is great here too, and he is at his funniest in the franchise because a lot of the moments in Mission Impossible 5 had me cracking up when it came to Simon Pegg. It's also really cool to see Vin Green's back because he only made like a little cameo in the previous one, Ghost Protocol, but it was nice to see him back in this franchise and to see him help Ethan Hunt and the team. It is kind of a shame that Paula Patton from Ghost Protocol didn't return here though. I would have loved to see how she could have handled this, but you do kind of get a Paula Patton replacement, which is played by Rebecca Ferguson. Wow. Talk about not only a pretty strong female character, but man can this girl kick ass. 
She has the physicality of what you need to be a female badass. She definitely nailed it. It's very well directed by Christopher McQuarrie. You know, I've already said what I need to say about the action scenes, but every shot, it looks great. And like I said, he would use some of these POV shots to make you immersed into the world. And I thought that was very smart on his part to really do that. And the movie in general just has incredible execution to make the scenes in the movie flow very well. And like I said, I was just never bored once. It's a very well-paced movie. My only flaws with this movie is that the villains were very weak. The side villains and the main villain. Well, the main villain, I will say, is a bit more stronger than the side villains. And I do think he had a pretty menacing evil plan. I will give the villain credit for that. His plan was very evil. It was very menacing. But the villain as a whole, I didn't find him very compelling, to be honest. And then the last problem I did have with the movie is that it does wrap up the ending a bit too quickly. Like, it felt like the movie was kind of in a rush to just wrap up everything so the movie can end. But overall, guys, I thought Mission Impossible 5 was an incredible action movie. It's one of the best that come out in the summer, one of the best that come out of the year. I had a lot of fun watching this movie. It was very energetic. You could tell there was a lot of passion going into the action. The cast brought in their A-game. Christopher McQuarrie brought in his A-game with his writing and directing. And everyone else that was involved in this project, I think, really brought in their A-game. So I'm going to give Mission Impossible Rogue Nation three and a half out of four stars. Done. Dun, 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 dun. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what did you think of Mission Impossible Rogue Nation? What's your favorite Mission Impossible movie in the franchise? And also, I want to give a huge thank you to WWE Fan 0599 for making a cameo appearance in my intro for this movie review. He's a very cool guy. He has a great channel. He does movie reviews. If you guys haven't checked him out, I highly recommend his channel. I'll leave a link to his channel in the description below. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!